I Brentech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 10 KB 5003173. That was this month's cumulative update for Patch Tuesday, which rolled out one or two days ago, depending on which region of the world you found yourself in. Now, apparently, the update has got some issues, and that is unfortunate because this is a brand new cumulative update, and already there are some problems. Now, KB5003173 um, is reportedly causing problems for some users, and this seems to be with the Microsoft Edge compatibility bug that basically causes issues with the Windows update process and when you are trying to update your PC, and this means the updates will fail to install or roll back automatically. Now, KB5003173 was rolled out for Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2. So if we just head over to our Windows update and under view update history, this is the update I'm talking about, cumulative update for Windows 10 version 20H2, that's also 2004, KB5003173. And as you can see, I only installed this yesterday. So that is unfortunate that there are already some problems with this update. Now, what is happening is that when the update is uh, being applied. There have been user reports that the installation fails with an error message 800F0922. And basically then what happens is it won't update and uh, an automatic rollback then occurs and you are unable to update your PC. Now based on user reports, the error is basically um, hitting devices where the Microsoft Edge Chromium web browser has been manually removed in the past to restore the legacy Microsoft Edge. So in the past, if you have tried to remove the Microsoft Edge Chromium web browser from Windows 10 and then reinstall the legacy Microsoft Edge, this is where the problem is arising with the rollback issue and failing to install. So when you install KB5003173, it also attempts to install the new Chromium Edge because now you must remember that the new Chromium Edge is now part of the Windows operating system. So if you have tried to uninstall it in the past and have and removed it from your system, all the update will want to do is um, reinstall Microsoft Chromium Edge because it is now part of the Windows operating system. And then the installation fails when it detects an empty Edge folder in the System Drive C program files times 86 Microsoft Edge. So basically it's detecting an empty folder from the Chromium Edge not being there. And this is where the, um, the mix-up and the errors come and the issues come with it trying to um, install onto your system and then obviously it can't. And then we have the, the problems. So how do we fix this error? Basically there are two workarounds. You can manually reinstall Microsoft Edge from um, Microsoft's web stuff, website and then try the update again. So basically, you can head over to the, the, Edge site, the Microsoft Edge website and you can down, download the Microsoft Edge Chromium web browser again. I obviously have it installed. That's why it's just saying start Microsoft Edge. Or well, the other workaround is you can remove the Edge folder by going to the C program uh, files Microsoft and I'll show you how to do this. So basically if we just head over to our file explorer and we go to our C drive and we go to program files times 86 and then to Microsoft. This is the folder and um, the empty folder if you've tried to uninstall and successfully removed Microsoft Edge Chromium in the past from your system. This is the folder that will be empty. Obviously, mine isn't empty because I have a Microsoft Edge installed on my system. And this is where the problem apparently is coming. So if you remove that, apparently um, the update um, will most probably be able to reinstall itself as well. So this will allow the cumulative update to successfully restore the browser and basically the installation will carry on from there. Now, unfortunately, as always, and we all know how updates go. Um, it's not always that simple. And there are cases where the update installation fails with different error messages. And basically each time and Microsoft Edge, the Microsoft Edge, um, you know, trying to the workaround I've just showed you doesn't work. 
so that, you know, as I say, this isn't a 100% successful, but it is worth a try, especially if you have tried to um, uh, uninstall Microsoft Edge Chromium in the past and reinstall the legacy Edge browser. Now, obviously, as well, if this doesn't work and what, you know, is recommended a lot is you just go to your um, Windows Update and if it's trying to reinstall and roll back and reinstall, all you do is you just pause your updates for seven days or in my case, I would just go to Advanced Options and I would pause the updates for a longer period of time and then hopefully Microsoft will bring out a fix or you will have to wait for the next um, optional update, the preview build update, which will roll out in the latter half of May 2021. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.